Hey guys, we're on the road again. Today I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna go do some file fishing. Unicorn file fishing, they call them leather jackets. And there's a spot basically on the canals where you go. And I have a very special technique that while I'm fishing them, I'm gonna share it as well. And it's, it's, it's really, it's good technique that I use, good rig that I set up to be able to hook these um, file fish. So we're, we're gonna head out on an expedition and I'll show you exactly how I do it. So let's check it out. All right, headed to the spot down by the canals. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a walk here. Should have put on my best gear to walk to this, but I'm not traveling with a heavy load. Got my fishing pole, my bucket. I'm just gonna make our way down to the canals. Catch us some good filed fish. A bit more trail left to go. A bit more trail left to go. Find our destination to the canal. All right guys, we made it to our destination by the canals, way right down here. There's a lot of structure. This is where we're gonna be fishing at. There's a lot of pirate fish. There's a lot of gray snappers, but we're gonna be aiming for from file fish, unicorn file fish. They hang out right under, it looks like a, a tree structure that's down there. They love to chill out and hide. So, before we begin, let me give you a little introduction on the kind of rig that I'm using right here as you can see I have a two ounce sinker standard seven odd hook standard treble hook another standard hook and last but not least another treble hook and the bait that we're using today is conch Cut bait, it's conch. Right there, conch. The flies love it too. You can use squid, you can use whatever kind of fish that you want. It's personal preference, but I like to use the conch because it's, it's not easy for the fish to take it off. I have it, my standard medium to lightweight rod. It's from Shimano, along with my Shimano Sakuro reel. You can use whatever light to medium weight reel that you want whichever one is your favorite this one seems to work out well and the goal to it is once i throw this out the foul fish is going to run to try to get the bait and what's going to happen i'm going to snag them by just pulling up on my rod very quickly like that so once i pull it up they're going to get snagged by the treble hook and then i'm just going to reel them in so, let's try to see if we can line one of these big boys from right down here and uh, see what size it is. Let's get All started. All right guys, that's fish number one for the day. As you can see, it is a unicorn file fish. Right there. Unicorn file fish that got snagged by the treble hook right in its mouth. It works. They come up to the bait, they get too close, pull your rod back, and you snag them right there. That's a good snag. It's right in the corner of the mouth, as you can see right there. Unicorn, foul fish. Good eating fish. All right, let's try it again to see if we can get one or two more. Let's try again. Okay, guys, catch number two. That's number one. Catch number two, same method. Same method, catch number two. Let me hold up right there. When I got him out of the water, he was fighting so much he fall, he fell off the hook. But the uh, the snagging me mechanism or the snagging way method, it works. 
this is why they call them a uniform a unicorn leather jacket because I have a horn right here it's a unicorn oh lost, lost it come back baby because the horn right here looks like a unicorn so and then of course the skin feels like leather almost like shark skin it's a very effective way of um, catching these uh, no matter where you catch them from or no matter which area snagging them is the best because uh, you will need extra small hooks to be able to to catch them and I don't have any at this time and sometimes using small hooks sometimes they still tend to get off you know so that was about an hour in what's up guys my time on the canal is done today I managed to catch two leather jackets I only managed to spend about one or two hours just to see exactly what I'll catch hopefully whatever that you might have seen on this video might have helped you in terms of snagging them you know different type of techniques whatever technique that's good for your area it's good to try it for your area it could be a canal it could be outside open water but when it comes down to foul fish aka le le the leather jackets they're quite easy to catch once you have a perfect technique if you're able to find a technique that works for you stick to that and try away to perfect it i'm gonna do another video a part two to this it's gonna be a cook catch and clean one when it comes down to cooking and cleaning these foul fish so if you like this video go ahead down below like and subscribe i'll see you guys in part two hey guys what's up you back again part two as promised gonna do catch clean and cook of the foul fish so we're gonna clean this baby today show you the easy way to clean this all right there you go you see the little teeth right there see the spine right there this is why they call it the unicorn foul fish or the unicorn leather jacket all right there's a very simple technique to cleaning this fish and I'm going to show you right now one of the easiest ways there's many ways that you can do this fish but this is one just simple and easy way if you want to you know save some time so let's go straight ahead and let's clean this fish alright so first things first let's get rid of this this unicorn horn right here so, so you take a knife lift the horn up and then you cut it off. Now, in terms of cleaning this fish, what you will have to do, you come right behind the eyes, right above the head, cut down, then you cut the spine. Right? All, all the way down. Now the trick part about it is that now you'll have to pull it like this, and then you have to tear it. So you'll hold the head here, and you hold the body. And then you'll just tear it like that. And what that does, that takes away, that takes off the guts from out of the main body, which is the main part of it. Now, just for a second, one thing that I like to do, because there's a lot of meat in the head, so I will cut the head right here just under the eyes and there you go this goes away all right so your rinse is off your rinse is off I like to start with the head and what I personally do I cut the head in half so just come right here with the knife Spit it down the middle.
just like that. Two pieces. Rinse that off. And then, there's a good part about these fish. You take the fish, and what you get under that skin right there, just get a flap. Show you closely, just get a flap there. You can take that and we'll peel it off. These fish has no scales at all. None. So that's good right there. You can peel it off. That's why they call them leather jackets. So that's one side of it. And the other half, you do it again. Look for the skin, for the tip of the skin, and peel it backwards. There you go. No scaling required. It's good boiled fish here as well. Okay, time for the main body. Let's give it a second wash. See what you have to understand with this fish, once you take off the head, you cut it like that and you tear the head away, the guts come out. So you're left with a nice fish right here. Only the skin left on it and the fins. So here's how we deal with this. If you take a very sharp knife, it could be a fillet knife or anything that you have that's very, very sharp. Just get just under the skin. They don't call them leather jackets for nothing. Get just under the skin. We'll probably bring it closer. Get it just under the skin. Now there's different ways to, to do this. This is not the only way, this is just how I like to do it. All right? And then you could just peel it back. Peel, just peel the skin off. All right? Once you start that flap, you can continue to pull down. Get under the skin again. It comes straight around, even from the tail end. So you can flip it over. It's very easy to clean. And there you go. It's got it. Might could do a bit more. You come with a very sharp knife. Cut off that spiny end. All right, do the other side. Cut off the spiny end once again on the opposite side. With any sharp knife, there you have it. You're pretty much good to go. What you have here is a bunch of very edible fish meat. You can decide to do whatever that you want to do with it. You can put it on the grill, you can fillet it, you can boil it down. However that you like to cook your fish and prepare your fish, this is the best way of cleaning the filed fish. So here's before and here's after. 